Hey guys, this is a video on how to take down the hay bale blind by Mary's Deb. So if you're curious, hang out with me and I'll show you just how to do that. So I've got the blind set up right here. As you can see, it does come in the Advantage Max 4 HD camo pattern. Uh, on either side, it does have mesh for ventilation. Uh, the front open flip open style lid also is a mesh, adding for more ventilation. Uh, it also does come with these uh, vegetation stubble straps. You can put corn or whatever you want to do to blend into your hunting environment. Um, so let's come around the door. Uh, it's got a open and close zipper up and down. Pretty easy function. Um, also got some more ventilation on the back. These big panels right here uh, add for more airflow inside of it so it won't get too stuffy. I'm going to put the camera right here so I can show you more of what it looks like on the inside. Let's unzip that. And I'll take you on a tour on the inside here. So on the front and the rear of the blind we have two brown poles and a green pole that holds up either side. Uh, the roof is supported by a gray or silver fiber pole. The chute open lid has black fiber poles. Uh, there is also a zipper in and out floor, which is nice, so you can take it in and out, uh, in or out, depending on where you're hunting. So let's go ahead and uh, show, you, show you how to take it down, shall I? Because this is what this video is about, yes? So I'll come around to the front of the blind here, okay? I'll just adjust upwards just a little bit so I can see exactly what I'm doing here. So let's go in. All right, so the first thing I do is I take out the black poles here. That's step number one. Okay, so there's a side there. There are two of them, so I take out both of them. Okay, all right. Next, you wanna take down the gray pole that supports the roof. Alright, so I'm going to show you now what I've done. Um, I'm taking out the black poles and the gray poles. Next, I'm going to just flip this into the blind because this will make it easier when you fold it. It's a very key thing. So I'm going to put the camera right here so I can show you guys exactly what I'm going to do on the inside by taking down the two brown poles and the green poles. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we've got two browns and a green on the front and the back. So we're gonna take those out. Take down the green. Throw those aside. This, this one does lift up and reach up underneath here. Simple. Okay, now I will say when you take out the brown poles, the blonde's gonna wanna have a tendency to fall forward. Try and have it go backwards so you don't hit your head with this panel here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. As you can see, it is starting to cave in on itself here. So we'll put that one there. So now we go backwards just like that. Okay. That's there's a crucial step there in how to take this down so now I'll show you all exactly what it looks like so let's go ahead and take out the rest of the brown poles first thing I do is I zip open or zip close the door here this is also an important step when you take down the blind it just makes it a little easier as I trip over myself that's all right though. I have another leg. Okay, so we take out the brown poles here. The remaining ones. Just like that. Okay, throw that aside. They come around. Take out the other brown pole. Oh. 
All right, so that just goes forward just like that. And you're about halfway done. Just gonna fold up the holes here, kind of collect them. Okay, now that the blind is like this, the next step you want to do is fold it up really nice so it can fold nicely into the bag. So what you want to do is you want to pull in most of the roof or the pull in most of the floor as possible when you go to Hold it. You want to get as much of the floor inside the blind. You want to pull it up as much as, as, as you can. Because that will really help you in putting it into the bag. Okay. So just like this. Okay. So you want to grab the blind from the top, push it down until it forms a, a U, reach back with your hand, hold it with one hand, put, put your free hand right here, push it towards your right foot, in, and push down. All right, that is how you fold it. And now I'm going to show you how to put it in the bag. So what I like to do is keep the spring part or the top of the wand up because it just makes it easier to fit into the bag. So I'll turn it like this, right? Then I'll get my bag. It might not look like it'll fit, but it will. Trust, trust me. And with a little practice, you'll be doing this like a pro in no time. So there you go. Just push it in there. You can be you can be rough with it. But it's just it's just material. I'll grab the zipper here. Work it up. Same deal on the other side here. Work it up there. See? It fits in nice and neat. Just like that. Alright. So now that you've done this, I'm going to move the camera so I can show you how to fold up the fiber poles. Alright. So. Alright, so the company gives you three little rubber bands and a big one. The big ones are for the brown poles. So we just roll them up like, like that nicely. Take the silver or the gray rubber band that one. Take the black ones here. Okay. Let me zoom. Rubber up that one. Take the last of the green one. And we rubber band that one. Just like that. And the factory, I just kept this uh, plastic here. You don't have to. Uh, it does tear, but not much you can do about that. So you can just stick those right into the bag there. Just like that. Okay. But they do give you this nice handy dandy uh, durable one, which is nice. So make sure not to lose that one. You want to keep this one. And stick that in, into there. This just flips around and back over. 
and then go up under and pull. Okay. Then with the part that ties, put it up at the top where the wording is and stick that on the bottom just like that. So now you've got this strap that will go across over and meet this buckle. Push. That will hold it in place. Put these flap, overlap them just like that. And then, then you grab your tie downs and your wind uh, rope, which are right next to me. All right, you just put those right in the top. Everything fits really tightly on this blind for some reason. I guess that's how they wanted it to be, but that's all right. So there you go, it's all nice and folded. I'll show you the, the padded shoulder straps here with the open and close buckle. Makes it nice. So there you guys go. Um, hope this video has been educational. I know I've been having a blast doing it. So if you have any questions or comments or want to see any other videos that you want me to do, let me know. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me guys. Have a great day.